Hello. Today's topic is Railing Edit Notes. Note 1. Support Edit. Railing support position is set automatically, but if it's required to be changed, we select our railing and then filter. Check None. Only keep railing supports. Checked. Apply. OK. Unpin it. Now I can move it. Also, I can copy it. Note 2. To modify the railing pass, double click and then I might, for example, add another railing. Note 3. Always remember to duplicate the sub railing system and not only the main railing system. We go edit type and not only the system uh, railing that should be duplicated but also top rail and handrail. From type we go here and duplicate. Also handrail 1 in the type we should click here and duplicate as well. Note 4. To edit the construction of the railing system, select our railing, edit type, make sure this is our own type that has been duplicated already, then in the railing structure, edit. To understand what is railing uh, structure, we go preview. If for example I highlight that one, it represents that circular handrail. I'm able to change its profile from here. Also I can change its height. I would make it um, one meter. Then apply. It went that way. So to get it back, I either type in its original value which was 0.7 apply or cancel to change the offset i need to go to the 3d view here but if i add 0.5 apply notice that handrail went that way furthermore to modify the baluster placement we edit and then preview and if i highlight the balusters and uh, uh, here I need to go to my front view to understand what is meant by base offset which is in our case 0.2 meter so this is the base offset distance bet between base and the start of balusters the top offset is that distance from the top of my railing till the balusters Distance from previous means these distances between balusters, which in our case is 0.4 meter. If I highlight that start post, which represent that post, I will find that its base offset is zero. It means zero distance between base and the post. Top offset is zero, which means zero distance between top of the railing and the post then what is the space for example if i type in a value of 0.1 notice what would happen apply the post or the start post went that way with value of 0.1 Note 5. How to edit balustrades in conjunction to the railing structure. Go to Rail Structure first and edit. If I highlight Rail 1, which represents this rail, and, and highlight Rail 5, which, uh, which is that one, I would delete Rail 2, 3 and 4 and delete. Rail 3, delete. Rail 4, delete delete apply so i only have rail one and five okay go to baluster placement and edit 
next is the baluster arrangements so my base would be instead of the host would be rail 5 and my top would be rail 1 and I would change the distance from to become 0.2 meter apply so I have changed the arrangement of balusters to have the base of it as rail 5 and the top to be rail 1 note 6 how to edit posts again go to the baluster placement this is our own type of railing and edit if I highlight that start post which is that one I would set a stop offset to be 0.2 meter for example and notice what would happen apply this is my start post that has got uh, a top offset with 0.2 meter I can bring it back type in 0 apply note 7 baluster justifications this is to adjust the baluster spacing along the railing to do that we go to baluster placement edit this is the justify notice the following scenarios beginning and apply you will notice that that distance is not as equal as that one scenario of end apply vice versa scenario of center apply these two distance are equal and the final scenario sp spread pattern to fit and apply this will spread the spacing of balusters equally note 8 if we need a glass panel railing or we need to add a specific post with a certain style we should go to load family we go insert load family I prefer US metric railing balusters this is a, a post with a, a certain style so open now it got loaded to my project for the glass panel also I can go to same place and this is the glass panel so I might be using baluster panel open so for example I will select my duplicated railing style edit type and go baluster placement edit in my baluster family I load the one I already loaded which was for example glass and apply for the posts for the start post for example I would choose the other one I loaded which was new one apply this is the loaded post and that is the loaded panel note 9 to add style to railings we need to break one side of the railing into segments to get an intermediate post in in between the end corner post and the start post so we need to select that side of railing go to modify tab and split element I would split it here here edit type and baluster placement here in the post I would choose the downloaded newel post that one for the corner post as well new one and for the end post as well apply okay 
This is my new railing with the style. Finally, note 10. The classical custom-made railing will be introduced when knowing about family in Revit, which would be later on.